Hey, what's going on guys? John here. Today I wanted to do a video review for the Logitech G920 steering wheel and pedal set. So in this video, I'm actually going to walk you through the installation of this. We'll do a little demo just so you can see how it's set up. And then I'll show you my full setup as well here that I've got in my space. So let's first start with the Logitech steering wheel and then we'll go through settings and all the other configurations and do a little demo. So um, starting out with this, you have um, basically a pretty straightforward setup. There's several wires that are gonna come off of this. You one, have your USB cord. And one thing that I really like about this is I've got this plugged into the front of my home theater computer here, but there's actually a disconnect here. So if I wanted to unplug this and wrap the wire up and later go replug it back in, it's kind of nice that they included that. You have a pretty long power cable. So as you can see, I'm using an outlet that's here. This then runs to a power brick and then all the way into the steering wheel. So despite being actually pretty far away from power, this is pretty nice that they included a long cable. I use just a little um, wrap here to kind of wrap up some of the wires. Additionally, I have a wire that's now coming out of the back of this and going into the shifter. The shifter is actually an optional add-on. You could use the paddle shifters that come with this, but I actually wanted to have a manual shifter because that's how I drive most of my cars in real life. Um, in terms of setup, um, this basically is a special frame that's designed for sim racing that I got, and this has a plate that's built onto it that's designed to work with the um, G920 as well as other wheels. So there's actually a couple holes here in the bottom and inside the G920 itself that will take bolts that you can bolt this into. Additionally, you have these two pieces here that just kind of, um, these pieces turn and rotate and this will clamp into the pole. So I was able to actually do that without even using the screws. And this is pretty sturdy. As you can see, I can put pressure on it and it's not going anywhere. One thing I really like about this wheel right off the bat of using it is it does have force feedback. Um, you can turn that off obviously within the games, but it works pretty well. This mostly emulates um, an Xbox controller. So you have your Xbox button here. You have what's considered an LSB and RSB button here. Your start select, you've got your Logitech logo in the middle, your D-pad, and then you have your A, B, Y, and X. Um, additionally, anything beyond that, it's really gonna be utilizing just the shifter. And then you, you have your clutch, brake, and accelerator. Um, same thing with the um, Pedals here, I was able to mount this pretty much perfectly centered with this sim racing setup. And then this has pre-drilled bolt holes all throughout. So I have about, I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six bolts going into this. So this thing isn't going anywhere and is very stable with this setup. I actually took, um, for my full setup here, um, this is an old office chair, really a new one rather, that I wasn't using all that much that we had extra in the house. So um, one thing to keep in mind, if you're going with a full sim racing setup, you wanna do this wheel, make sure that you get a special adapter that will work with um, office chairs. I actually have to buy a different um, adapter for this because this chair is basically about six inches apart on the bolt holes on the base, whereas the actual um, bolts down here are about nine inches apart. So I have to get a special adapter for that and currently my seat is kind of just resting on here. Um, so I have to be a little bit careful when using it. Um, other than that, what I did in this space is I set up a 55 inch LG OLED. It's a little bit higher than I'd probably want for sim racing, but I put it in here originally for doing like workouts. I'm kind of using this as a dual workout space. I can easily, you know, kind of drag this over out of the way when needed once I clean all this stuff up. And then if I want to bring in like workout equipment, I have still plenty of space to do that. So um, I set this up with a um, fairly straightforward home theater setup. It's got a bit older hardware in it, but still works great. Um, I'm going to do a demo here with Forza 5, um, which is perfect with the G920 because this is fully compatible and everything just works outside the box. I did also briefly want to show, um, if I do an alt tab here real quick, this is the Logitech G Hub software. So inside the software here, you can actually go in and this is one of Logitech's apps. You can go in and do specific device settings, check firmware, things like that. Um, it's fairly straightforward with the G920. There's really not much to set up or configure, but as you can see, Windows and Logitech does see that it's currently installed and everything is up and running. So let's go back to the game. We'll do a little demo and you guys can see um, how this is all going. I did actually crash into a wall before uh, hitting this, so we'll probably have to do a little bit of reversing. I'm gonna go put the camera kind of at an angle here so you can get at least somewhat of a view of me using this as well as um, you know, actually seeing the gameplay. Shifter, 
you actually have to push down and then over. So pretty standard with a lot of cars. getting used to it it's a little bit different than driving a normal car as you could imagine um, the shifter with this as well is a little bit different feeling I've been trying to get used to it because it actually doesn't do quite as good a job going from um, second into third whereas traditionally I end up skipping right to fifth um, overall I'm pretty happy with this whole setup I think if you're looking for something that's really going to give you a pretty realistic setup the force feedback on this is great um, you know I haven't had any issues with it at all um, alternatively, the only reason you may want to go for something like the G923 or maybe the G29. The G29 would be more specific to say PlayStation, whereas the G20, um, G923 would allow you to have versatility between all platforms. Um, so if you wanted to use that with a PlayStation, with an Xbox, with a PC, you'd have all of that. Um, not too many other advantages over just going with the G920 if you're going to be doing a PC setup like I have here or just using the Xbox. Anyway, very, very happy with the wheel. Um, really awesome setup, and I'm super excited now that I've got this setup. It's just going to take some uh, learning to get the hang of everything and all those sharp turns. Anyway, thanks for checking out my video review, and hopefully you found this helpful.